Hello, welcome to the vending company. I'm going to show you how to remove a cooling deck or also how to install a cooling deck into your combo vending machine. Uh, we do sell brand new cooling decks. You can reach us at 301-987-7100 for either technical support or if you do need help getting parts, we can help you with that as well. Uh, if you do order a cooling deck for one of our machines, it'll look like this. It'll come in a crate like this. To remove it, you just pull the tabs in the up position. We can remove the crate upwards uh, like so. And we've already removed the cooling deck. This cooling deck is actually remanufactured to work on a lot of different cooling decks. The GO127, the GO380, uh, GO326, Multimax uh, combo machines, uh, FEH, NV2020, PC700, gains, and a lot more. Uh, so if you're not sure if it'll work, just let us know. But this is basically how to do it as far as removing it and installing a cooling deck. So this is the cooling deck here. Um, your thermostat is right here. This is something that you may be using or it's a good idea to know where it is. To use it, you just need a small flathead screwdriver. Put it in so, turn it to the right to turn it colder or turn it to the left to make it warmer. It's a very sensitive, so you don't need to crank it up. If it gets too cold, it'll actually uh, freeze your cooling deck so just be careful with that you'll notice that there's a harness here this is only for the RC 800 so if you do not have an RC 800 or RC 850 machine you will not be using this extra cord you just unclick it like that remove it and you will not use it all right so I will show you how to remove your cooling deck it's very simple you're gonna see that the back panel here there's a bunch of screws we've already removed them just to save time on the video but what you're gonna do is you're gonna remove this, this screw here and remove the panel. So just assume that we took all the screws off. Then you're gonna see some bolts. Maybe some bolts that hold in the cooling deck. So you'll need a socket set or a wrench to remove this. So you just remove the, this, those out like so. Of course, we've loosened them just to save time again. But you know, you get the idea of how to remove them. Or a wrench, either one's fine. And then you'll see that there's a power cord. Not every machine has a cord here, but this one does. It does send power throughout the rest of the machine for other things, so you do have to remove that. Sometimes there's a ground wire, like so, which you'll have to remove. This one you do not have to actually remove it. You just unhook this. But just so you know, sometimes machines do have cables that need to be unhooked. All right, so now there's nothing hooked in. There's no bolts. Now we just remove this, and it is a tight seal, so sometimes they are hard to remove. So you have to kind of shimmy them back and forth. Use a little bit of pressure. You get these little grip bars here. Pull it out, and it's supposed to be tight. This gasket and seal is supposed to be there. It makes a tight seal. So if you have a hard time pulling it out, that's normal. All right? So we're gonna remove this. This is our bad deck. It's having some issues. So we're gonna remove it here. And we're gonna install our new deck. So the new deck, we move it here. We're gonna put it on the slide here. And like I said, it's gonna be hard getting in. It's gonna be a tight seal. It needs to have that tight seal. So we're gonna sit down. Use the balls of your foot to push it on both sides. Just kind of shimmy it in. gets in just like that and that's going to make that tight seal exactly what you want so it is going to take a little bit of force don't be afraid these are very hard just make sure you use the edges or the push bar now we're going to connect this wire because it's going to give power so it just clicks in and then we we'll just route that back here so it's out of the way and then we're going to put our bolts back in make sure this thing doesn't slide around we can tighten it with this okay nice and tight put this one in Screw 
tighten this up. And of course, you're going to put the rest of the screws in. That's basically the quick guide to do it. If you have questions, again, feel free to call us, 301-987-7100. We are the vending company. We're happy to help you, and we look forward to working with you. Thanks.